Hey friends, it's Near Far Rayburn Dolls with a box packing of a very special little one who has already found a home. She's only been listed for a few weeks. This is my version of the Elf Filu kit. She is number 27 of only 333. So she's been around for a little while. She's about to sell out soon, I would think. And she's a pretty low edition number. So I've named her Shimmer. She is the Crystal Eater Fairy. And she's heading home. And this is all the stuff that she's going to go home with. Okay, why are we not fitting in the envelope? <laughs> why are we not fitting? So I'm just gonna put those the bottom of her box. So she's coming home with some mohair conditioner and a brush and comb set. Now I usually um, supply a toothbrush because that's actually what we use as Reborn Artists, a toothbrush or a mascara wand. Um, but this doll has quite thick hair and long so I'm going to give her a nicer brush and comb set. Um, she comes with this beautiful, I think that kind of looks like a crystal, don't you? Like a crystal pacifier. And this rainbow pacifier clip with a little heart on the end. So let's stick that through. I think that's how you would, you would do this. I'm not sure. You could go on the side like that. And I'm using this um, larger net bag to put things in bright color she does have a rose quartz crystal inside her um, but I'm also sending her with a couple of Ara quartzes so this is I believe it's um, uh, fluorite with Ara and then I'm not sure what this one is but Ara stones are um, ones that have been heat treated so they're not dyed, so they are natural, but they have been heat treated. And I picked these two quartz because they're sparkly and they match her outfit. And she can also, the way her hands are, she can actually hold those in her hand. And then she's going home with a headband, which looks really beautiful with her coloring. And I also um, decided to throw in a couple of cool pens. This one sort of reminds me of her with with the um, with the colors, and then just the unicorn. And she comes with a little hat that goes with her outfit. Um, I'm also sending three diapers with her. Sending quite a bit of little little things with her because she only comes with the one outfit. It is a really nice outfit, um, but yeah, generally. You know, my dolls come with a lot more than this at this price point, but um, I don't know, with with the fantasy dolls, I don't like to put them in just regular clothes. I just feel like, I don't know, they're, they're fantasy creatures. <laughs> they should be wearing like fantasy kinds of clothes. So I tend to just send them with one really specially curated and picked outfit. Um, that matches their theme. Um, this particular outfit, I don't remember where I bought it. I've had it for a while. I've been saving it for like a fantasy doll. One of my favorite um, places to get unique items of clothing for fantasy dolls is actually Kate Quinn, which is a designer who does really unusual colors and really unusual patterns. And they're usually very bright and colorful. In fact, I just ordered some stuff from her, so look for that. That will be um, an unboxing of cool, um, cool outfits for the future. I don't want to give anything away because I want you to watch that, so that that's coming up. And then this is her blanket that she's going home with. Isn't that pretty? It's a pink, and it's got um, purple flowers and darker a darker pink crown on it. Perfect for just a little princess. I've actually had this blanket for a while 
and looking for a very special doll for it. And here she is. Here is Shimmer, the crystal eater. And she is painted with um, Fantasy FX heat set paints that give her a, a subtle shimmer. And that's how she got her name. <laughs> that's how she got the name Shimmer. And actually, she came in, this is the, the bag she came in, which is quite a big bag, and I think I'm gonna just totally wrap her up in it. Not that she's going like super far, but it's just, I feel like it's gonna keep her really well protected for her journey. And hopefully you can see her hands. Her hands are really, really cool. Looks like she's um, conjuring a spell or something. I just love those hands. And that's part of what inspired me to make her a crystal eater. And I do have a video that's all about her and how I came up with the idea. Um, I thought, sort of thought of the idea that kind of like flamingos have to eat shrimp to turn pink, they're actually white, that she, when she was born, she was sort of a dull rock color, kind of a, you know, a camouflage, if you will. And it's through eating crystals that she gets her bright and shimmery colors. So she prefers to eat bright shimmery crystals. And that's why I gave her a couple of, couple of crystals for the road to dawn. <clears throat> So I thought it would be best that she, that the ribbon be silver and pink. I hope you guys saw that video. I will try to figure out, I'm usually terrible at figuring out how to link videos, but I will try to link it. Um, either put a link in the description or make a card pop up, or maybe the, you'll see it at the end of the video. So you can see her story and you can see her getting her rose quartz crystal inside her body. Alrighty, lift her up, and we'll bring her box over, and we'll place her in that L shape. She does have a little bit of cushioning down there. Now I priced her really to sell. She is a boo-boo baby. Something happened in the painting process which again I show in my video. I still don't really know what happened in the painting process. It's really weird, very odd, but um, I priced her accordingly. And let's see, we'll stick that stuff down there and we'll put this her more hair conditioner by your butt. And we'll put that like that. And we'll put the pens down here at the bottom. Just in case they leak. Hopefully they won't. And we're gonna put some packing peanuts in this one. Again, we want things to be nice and tight. This is my, I'm bring my box of packing supplies over here. I think we're good. I'm just gonna put some 
some tissue paper in here. And there we go. And I want to show you part of the process that I normally don't show. And that is... Putting a sticker. Let's see. What would be maybe maybe this one? I usually like to put a sticker right there. And then I also put stickers on the sides of the box. little presents on each side of the box. Great, and then once I put that address right here, I'll add a couple stickers. I didn't want to put the address because I knew I was going to be showing you guys the box packing process. One of the things I've learned about box packing in my years of packing boxes is that you really want to seal up any place where anything can get in. She just had no idea what these warehouses are like. One time I was really low on tape and so I decided just to do like the bare minimum amount of tape for a customer. And they complained that it was all, all dirty on the inside. You just never know where these things are gonna end up and what it's like where they're gonna be. So that's why I try to seal up absolutely everything. So I'll put the, the sticker there. We'll put this tape across like so. And then add some more fun stickers. So I hope you've enjoyed this box packing of Shimmer. And wish her luck on her journey home. Thanks for tuning in. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.